Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am filming my June TBR for you guys. So, um, it's officially summer, at least in my book it is. And so I'm really excited to see what books really catch my fancy this summer. Um, last summer I read some really great books and so I really want that to happen again this summer as well. Please. Um, I think I have some like romances I would eventually like to get to but we're gonna leave it up to the to the TBR jar gods and see how that goes. For June I actually decided I wanted to add a little theme for it. Um, I wanted to make June my month of reading sequels if possible. So I'm gonna make this month's TBR just all sequels no matter what prompt I get because I have been doing okay at moving on to sequels but not as well as I want to. So that is kind of the goal that I'm setting for myself this month. I'm gonna go ahead and start picking out some prompts and we can go from there. Alright, so we're gonna do this one. Oops, something fell. Okay. Oh, perfect. So this one is read a new release. I guess that's perfect because I can read a newly released sequel. Um, I have to think on that because I, I have to think back on any sequels <laughs> that have been newly released so far this year that I can actually read. Let me think on that and I'll get back to y'all and we'll figure that out. Number two. Let's see. I'm gonna do this one. So this one is read a book with the first... It's read a book with the first letter of your first or last name. There we go. I think on that too. So number... Three. I'm gonna try and pick from the bottom. Oh, this one is new. A middle grade. All right, so we have a middle grade. Now I have to think of a middle grade sequel <laughs> that I need to pick up, which I can think of one. I don't know if I have it here. We'll do two more. This one. All right, so this one is a book with a quest or a journey. All right, last prompt. Let's pick from the top here. We'll do that one. This one is ooh, free choice. So we love that. We love it. We love it. All right, so those are the five prompts. So give me a second to go pull some books and I will be right back. Alright friends, so I am back with my picks. So starting with the first one I pulled, which was um, to read a new release. So for this one, it's not an immediate new release, but I still think of it as somewhat a new release. And that is one I meant to read last year when it came out at the end of the year, and then I never got around to it because I was nervous. But I picked The Righteous by Renee Adier. This is the third book in the the beautiful quartet and so I definitely <laughs> need to read this. I was so excited for it but at the same time when I learned which perspective we were getting in this I was a little hesitant because I didn't know what that meant for the previous two books so I'm still kind of hesitant but I'm willing to just go in and give it a try and see what's what's up especially because I think the fourth book is about to be announced soon so I definitely want to get this read before then but yeah so if you don't know the beautiful is about a girl named Celine who runs away to New Orleans because of a traumatic event that happens in her past and she meets Sebastian who is a part of like this dark underbelly of New Orleans and she ends up getting mixed up with his uh dark e events <laughs> and from there this romance and this adventure kind of ensues for her so um i'm intrigued to see what renee audier does with this book all right next we had book with the first letter of your first slash last name so that one i also chose 
a psalm of storm and silence by roseanne a brown so i didn't have a lot of sequels that started with my first or my last name like the first letter so i found this one and since it's a psalm of storm and silence i just picked that one and figured it would fit the best but i'm intrigued by this this is the sequel to a song of wraiths and ruins and I thought that one was okay. I give it three stars, but this is a duology, so I figured I would go ahead and read the last book and see what happens to the main characters from the first book. Um, so I'm definitely intrigued and en intrigued enough to carry on in this duology and see how it ends. Um, so I'm I'm okay. We'll see. Um, the first book follows a girl and a boy who both end up having to. sacrifice someone in order to bring back someone they love if that makes sense and the, they end up having to sacrifice each other like trying to sacrifice each other in order to bring back um loved ones they lost and it's a whole thing it's very uh intriguing the way the author went with this story to be honest the romance aspect of this was not very convincing to me um so i'm intrigued to see how she plays this out in this one as well Alrighty, so next we had a book with a quest or journey so for that one i'm actually going to do era of fire by sarah j moss this is the third book in the thermal glass series i've been slowly making my way through the series for the first time um, and so this one, where we end in the second book, Selena has to go on a quest to a new place, basically, and she's given, like, a mission of sorts. So I figured that fit this prompt pretty well. I finished the second book in May, so I wanted to go ahead and pick up the th third book next in June so I can continue on. Uh second book was okay i think i gave it three stars i had an issue with something that happened in the second book but i'm willing to see what sarah j moss does in the third book and i hope she makes up for it i'm kind of intrigued because i think we get maybe new characters in the third book and i'm kind of excited for that because i kind of got a little bored with the second book in regards to like dorian and kale i kind of just found them boring after a while so Okay, next prompt is a middle grade, and so for that one, I actually chose Wondersmith, which is the second book to Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. I read that, like, I think at the beginning of last year, or maybe the year before, and I gave it three stars. I thought it was okay, but I liked it enough to want to continue on in the trilogy, so I went ahead and snagged that one, um, the second book so i can continue on um that's the only i think middle grade sequel that i have to read right now so it's the only one that fit but it was also fitting because it was actually one i was kind of gearing up to read at some point this year so it works what i remember of nevermore is that i think there are certain children who are supposed to die on their 12th birthday and morgan morgan whatever her name was, Morgan, yeah, she is one of those children, but on the night of her, I think the night before her 12th birthday, this man comes and offers her a deal to take her to the world of wonder, and she has to get accepted into their society in order to not have to die on her birthday, and so it's a whole thing, and so the first book is her doing that, and then I think the second book is her figuring out what to do next for this society i don't know but we're just gonna go with it and see what happens and the last prompt i had was free choice so for that one i actually chose um steel striker by marie lou i've been wanting to read this i read sky hunter at the beginning of this year and i really enjoyed it so since this is a duology i figured it was probably best to go ahead and pick this up sooner rather than later and just be able to say i finished a series also i do want to see what happens next to these characters because the first one really ended on a very intense cliffhanger so i'm definitely intrigued to see where marilu takes this 
as well. All right, so then um, my buzzword for June is See All the Stars by Kit Frick. I've had this for like more than a year. This is the, one of the only books I had that had all in the title. I don't even know what this is about, but I'm kind of just going to go in without reading the synopsis because it's a short contemporary read and I figured why not and I don't remember what it's about so I'll just go in naturally like that and see what happens see if this is a hit or a miss but um I'm intrigued I'm interested uh something about it intrigued me enough to buy it so I'm intrigued to see um if I if it lives up to that hype that I had when I bought it and then um, I think there will be some extra stuff that I will try to read. So like Glow for, by Raven Kennedy comes out, which is the fourth book in the Play the Prisoner series in it this month. So I'm really, really hyped. She pushed it back, unfortunately, because it was supposed to come out in May and then she pushed it back to June. So hopefully she doesn't push it back again and it actually comes out this month because I'm really ready to see what happens next to our characters, to my loves. I just need to know because I'm really hooked on this series now, thanks to Monet and Cell. That is my uh, June TBR for you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji. If you liked the video, please go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. You're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.